Yo, what's good homies and welcome back to another Rugby League Life 3 career video. We are back in the rebuild series as the Newcastle Knights. We're in the 10th round of the NRL season as we get ready to take on the Brisbane Broncos. There's a little bit of history there. We've just played them in round 6 and we barely won by one point. Now although we're on a bit of a winning streak, I have made some changes to the squad. So as you can see here, the form of the forward pack, everyone is down, even on the interchange bench. So I decided to bring in Sam Stone who's in good form right now. That shift in turn leaves us down one prop on the bench, so what I'm going to do is convert Paulie Paulie into a front rower. Alright, as we take a look at the Broncos position on the ladder here, sitting in 7th place, since we beat them in round 6, they've gone on to win 3 games in a row. Alright, now to the good stuff, quickly before we get into the game. With the transfer window about to open, I want you guys to leave suggestions on who you want me to look for. I think the list of off-contract players is going to be massive, so... Don't be surprised if I release some guys like Feeney, a veteran like Bura. I think Cost Jason might be on the chopping block as well. I'll be looking for depth for our back five, and I'll definitely be getting a couple of forwards. I've actually got a list right here of off-contract players. In total, there's about 12 players there, so I've got some pretty tough decisions to make in the coming weeks. Of course, if you want me to re-sign a particular player, just let me know in the comments section below. Alright, let's get into the game here. Looking at the Broncos lineup, nothing has changed much. Pretty much the same team we versed a couple of rounds ago. I don't know if you guys can notice it or not, but I did in fact get a new mic. My old mic had an annoying hissing sound in it, and it kept cutting off, so I just decided to get a new one. As we get into the game here, with the Broncos, Milford puts up the high ball. It's the perfect kick for Boyd as he makes the catch, Starling gets a hold of him and manages to throw him back into the field of play. Starling's been pretty solid for us ever since we shift him into the starting lineup. As we get an attacking scrum here, we go to Lamb, takes it to the line, gets it away to Ponga who cuts back in field, draws in a couple of defenders, and a loose offload gets scooped up by Sio as he gets the ball out to Tupo. I think he might be our leading try scorer, as we score another try off the scrum. That's kind of been a reoccurring theme for us, scoring off the set piece. That one was a little sloppy, not as clean as our recent ones, but we score the try nonetheless. Back of the Broncos in attack, as they shift it to Boyd, and he's going to get around Ponga as he races away, finally getting the Broncos on the board 28 minutes into the game. I think it was Saifidi who we got around for the initial break, and Kalen Ponga missing the tackle at the back, as Marshall converts, and we're now leveled at 6 apiece. Back of the Broncos in attack, as Blair goes on a little break of his own, tackled outside our 40. Third tackle as they quickly shift the ball. They get it out to Boyd, but he's well taken care of. Inside the 40. A nice shot ball to Milford, who steamrolls past Bura. <laughs> That's such BS. Ponga unable to wrap him up at the back, and Milford's going to extend the lead. As Marshall pushes it even further with the kick, and they go up by 6 points. 34 minutes in, back in attack as we go wide to Ponga. He goes wide to Johnston, a drawing pass to Ross. Room to move, cuts back in field. And he's going to get wrapped up, just outside their 10. On the attack here, we got them on the back foot as we take it from dummy half. Probably should have dummied it there with Feeney, but we're going to get wrapped up once again. Fifth and last, a beautiful chip against the grain, and the Ross Dog is there to make the catch, grounds it in the corner. A beautiful finish to a well executed kick by Trent Hodkinson, and to think I wasn't going to use him this season as we missed the kick away to the left. A crucial kick, we're going to go into the break trailing by two. Looking at the stats here, there isn't much to say. Everything looks alright. Our main issue there, as you can see, is just the missed tackles. Alright, let's get back into the second half here. After receiving a penalty, we're going to take the tap. A drone pass to Ponga, who finds space up the middle. Makes a break, we try and get around Boyd, but he's going to chop us down from behind. Second tackle. We exploit the short side, the dummy from CO. Gets tackled 5 meters out from their line. Short ball here as we shift it again to Tupo. This time he's well looked after. As we lose meters, we go wide to Lamb, and the beautiful wrap. We've seen Ponga and Hodkinson pull that off before. This time it's uh, Matautia and Lamb who link up. That's actually one of my go-to plays, the dummy wide, and then I catch someone wrapping around. It doesn't always work, but when it does, it's damn beautiful to look at. As we shift the ball here, <laughs> we're just throwing it around at this point. Up by 4 points, 66 minutes in, 5th and last. We go to Trent Hodkinson, puts a chip over the top, caught by uh, caught by Ross, but 
that was a pretty terrible kick really wasn't the option we're just trying to be too fancy there as we get to the final play of the game on the last we're also a nice scrubber and we're going to smash void in the end goal and that's going to wrap up the game we managed to hold on to the lead and ride out the rest of the game full time 16 points to 12 as we take a look at the full time match stats here Kalen Ponga actually picks up man of the match as always don't forget to drop that like button for more content thank you for tuning in and i'll see you okay. Okay. later demon just got out of can i gave my bro in advance love is just not in my plans